So how do we break free from the insecurity trap? From the trap of lack of confidence, from the tra trap of lack of faith, from the trap of lack of belief, from the track of lack of worthiness. Well, we're going to find out. This is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness in San Diego, California, where we help you become a better version of yourself and level up. Welcome back, creators. Good to be with you. It is Sunday evening. It is November 22, 2020. And today I wanted to talk about um, the insecurity trap. This, this idea of lack of faith, lack of confidence, lack of belief in ourselves, lack of worthiness, guilt on top of that, right? Ugh. All of that makes for a very weak, weak creator, right? When the, whatever we create, it's not going to be what we want when we're in those states. So, and in those states, guys, what we do is we just go around imagining the worst case scenario. And that, and, and what do we get? We get the worst case scenario, right? We'll talk more about why that happens. Um, but I, I was reviewing the video from uh, yesterday, and um, I noticed that um, I, w I wanted to give you a quote. I think it was about halfway through it. Um, when I was talking about uh, the idea of being aligned with that divinity, being connected to that higher you, um, being connected to the field of infinite possibilities, the intelligent mind, God, all of that, the universal mind, where really anything new comes from that, new inventions, anything, um, anything that is a unique creation comes from this source, comes from source, source which is God, right? And, um, and without that connection, um, we, there's a quote from uh, this book called Reality Transurfing. Uh, it's Vadim Zilin. I'll talk about that in a few minutes. But one of his quotes was, the best you can do is build a new house with old bricks. Think about that. A new house with old bricks. So you can be, we can create things. We can create, we can work hard, we can battle it out, we can fight with others, we can, we can fight for our, he calls it, fight for our place in the sun. Right, we can be competitive. We can, uh, you know, we can elbow our way up to the top. But we're just creating a new house with old bricks. We're not creating. We're not plugged into the divinity. Remember, I told. We talked about this yesterday. The best you can do is bang it out, and and um, and, and 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 create, create from what's already been created. Right. What good is that, guys? It's okay. You, you can make a lot of things, right? You can, you can accomplish a lot of things. But really, you want to be connected to that higher, wiser, more brilliant you. That's, remember, anything else is, is puny. Any creation that's not, when you're not aligned, is puny compared to what you create. I don't care how much money, uh, how many promotions, how many uh, awards you have on your wall. When you're connected, and maybe you have been, and, and that's how, you, and that's how you've, you, you've risen up, but when you're connected, they, they, you, those things you don't even want anymore, right? <laughs> that's, the, that's the irony. That's the paradox. Um, so we'll talk more about that, but this book is called Reality Transurfing. It will blow your mind. The whole idea, Vadim Zilin, Reality Transurfing, and the whole idea is, it's, it's about creating your own reality. It's about creating reality, but, but, but not by banging it out. And, um, uh, and, and it's, it's a less about attracting. He doesn't really talk. There's a, definitely a lot of attraction in there somewhere, but it's, it's a small part of it um, because the whole idea is that you intend and you choose to have what you want. I talked a little bit about this yesterday. You intend and you choose, right? And, and then... You don't have to hope. You don't have to wish. You don't have to wonder. It's yours. You already have it. We touched on this, right? And, and, and we took it on from a different direction yesterday. Um, but uh, Vadim calls this uh, 
the insecurity labyrinth. And, and the idea is that the more you, you walk around that labyrinth searching for a way out, a way out to confidence, a way out to faith in yourself, a way out to belief in yourself, a way out to worthiness, uh, the deeper you get into insecurity, the deeper you get into lack of confidence, the deeper you get into lack of faith, the deeper you get into lack of belief, the, the more you try to find a way out of this labyrinth, this insecurity labyrinth, the more you get pulled into it. Guilt is also plays a part, right? The more you feel the guilt, the insecurity, the unworthiness, all that, those messy, weakening emotions and, and feelings, the more you get, the, more, the harder it is to get out of that labyrinth. So how do you do it? What is the secret? Well, that's the paradox, right? That's a part of, we touched on the paradox yesterday. I want to touch more on it today. To acquire the confidence, to get rid of the guilt, to become, to get the worthiness, to feel the worthiness, to believe in yourself, to have faith in yourself, you've got to let go of trying to get it. I know, I know. This is exactly, guys, what we talked about, right? You gotta let go of, uh, of, of, of that. So it's, it's that battle that keeps you away from it. Vadim talks about this as well. We, we touched on it. But when you do this, he comes out of it from a brilliant way. He talks about importance. When you drop importance, the importance of trying to prove yourself, the importance of trying to be confident, the importance of trying to be worthy, then you just be worthy. You just be confident. It's really interesting. And he says the walls of the, the labyrinth then crumble, and then you are it. Because he, you know, I think he makes a point that confidence is manufactured. Right, we can, you know, there's a lot of bluster. You see people that, you know, they, and I, I, I you guys know me from years ago, you know, through my life, I, I, I had aspects of that. We, 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 we manage, you know, we think we have to fight and manage hard and, 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 and cause a lot of bluster and a lot of noise. It was what Brian said to me. Remember I told you about Brian, the manager at Howard Johnson's when I was a cook? He said, Tom, your hands, right? It's all that bluster, it's all that movement. And, 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 and a lot of times we think we get confidence from demeaning others, from comparing ourselves to others, from thinking we're better than others, from judging others, right? And remember, when we're judging others, we're judging ourselves. All of that is man manufactured, right? The real confidence, confidence really ex is that, or the real security, should I say, comes from that, that alignment to that divinity, knowing that you are loved more than you can comprehend, that you are um, part of this divinity that always is, was, and, and will always be, that it's loving, unconditionally loving, right? It's, it's, it's more, I, I don't think we can even comprehend uh, in our earthly forms what this love means. We can probably get a taste of it when we meditate, we can probably get whiffs of it now and then when we're flying high. And when I mean flying high, when we're in the flow of something, right? When we're feeling good. But, but it, it's different, right? It's that divinity. It's that, it's that incredible feeling that, that, that uh, we are eternal, that we are love. And so, so what does Vadim say? Vadim says that the more you desire it, the more importance that you put on it, the more you search for that exit from the labyrinth, the deeper you go into insecurity, the deeper you go, you fall into unworthiness. Until you stop, let go of importance, let go, surrender, and understand that you get to choose. You get to choose to have worthiness. You get to choose to, uh, uh, to have confidence. You get to intend that. It's already yours. The walls of, of insecurity crumble. The walls of guilt crumble. It's an amazing thing. I know. I know. So uh, that's what I wanted to introduce you today to this book. I'm going to put a link down below uh, if you wanted to learn more about it. We're going to talk about all this stuff in more detail and other lessons. Wanted to get this to you. I wanted to fill in that quote. Remember, the best we can do when we're not aligned when we're not connected to that 
the, that higher, wiser, more benevolent, more loving self, we, the best we can hope to do is build a new house from old bricks, right? And what we want is that it, we want to be connected to that power where anything is possible, right? With God, anything is possible. There's nothing, nothing is impossible, right? So you're with God, you are God, you're part of God, nothing's impossible. You don't, you don't think God like says, oh, I don't know if I can do that, <laughs> it's a, right? God wouldn't say that. God doesn't doubt himself. And neither should you because you're part of God. Well, this is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you become a better version of yourself and level up. Until next time, see you soon.